Guys, we're going to try something a little bit new. So currently we're doing a review on an Audi S3. You may have already seen this, but because it's going to be up on a Saturday, but we are doing a little bit of a behind the scenes video of how our car, car reviews go, because it's not perfect. Like you might see it on YouTube and it might be perfect, but it never is perfect. So Ollie can't even say the guy's name properly. I know, the guy's called good. Richard. He keeps calling him Chris. I, I don't know, know what. All right, so, Chris. All right, so Richard, got it right. <laughs> I, it's just being a div. Yeah, behind the scenes. We're going to do our setup because I forgot the camera bag. We ain't got a tripod, no so. No tripod, no nothing. So we just got him sitting on a chair. On, on the main road. Around. Main road. So many cars around. So hard to find locations, but this one is a pretty nice location with the backdrop. But yeah, we're gonna try. I'll say this now. You'll probably you've probably already watched the video, but we are on a main road, and you probably hear a lot of cars driving past. It's quite loud. So in that respect, sorry. But yeah, a little bit of the behind the scenes. Price of it, fixing it. Never cheap. Obviously being an Audi, it costs an arm and a leg. I've just ordered a new wing and uh, Alright, do you even realise how slow you have to move to get like nice cinematic shots? Quite slow. So you've done you've done a lot to the car. Um what have you got planned for the future? Uh, it's not a lot more to be honest. I mean, obviously, obviously yeah, I'll try again. Yep. <laughs> Thousand pound for them wheels. I curved them a week later. Oh. I was beyond pissed. I'm going up this way. I don't trust that corner. <laughs> they fucking put things in this now, aren't they? Speed bumps. Yeah. They never used to have speed bumps. Have they got any in the middle one? I don't think they do in the middle one. Oh shit, there's a speed bump. Alright, we're in an underground car park now. Get some uh, exhaust noises. Your boy. We love our exhaust noises. Children. I think we need to get out of here. <laughs> you're the lady. No, what did she say? She like, you're a friend. She said, you're a friend of my dog. dog. <laughs> you can get in the back. Well, I'm moving to go in a minute. I've got to turn myself getting out of here. Because of that fucking curb. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise there was a speed button there at the last second. Oh, my foot! That's right, the thing you can do is like that. Oh. And then you just have to uh, crush yourself in. What did it sound like? It sounded good. <laughs> Screeches were well loud. Oh, there we go. Oh, Ollie, you went straight back into my fucking knee. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the German comfort, so. So, yeah, that's an eight for comfort on that. So Soft same. leather chair to cushion my buttocks. <laughs> that's getting zoomed in on. <laughs> it's like, oh, in the Civic, I've got to admit, there's a lot of rattle noises. Also, in the Subaru, there's a lot of knocks and a lot, a lot of rattles. Of rattles yeah. Always a little bit scared if the head gasket's gone, but touch wood, it hasn't yet. But, yeah. Well, I've already stored it once, so... Right, it's time to die. Let's try again. <laughs> and again. So. Oh my god! But I mean, how light this clutch is. See, I thought the clutch was heavy. Put a bit of throttle down. You drive mine. <laughs> Wait, I'll let you drive mine. You it's fucking... like what I was saying, drive mine, because I drive cars daily, so... <laughs> I can get any car and drive it. Any of these cars right here, I'll go and drive right now. My clutch is extremely heavy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much jumping any motor and drive. I jump in the work vans, drive mm. any of them, all that stuff. I've got no choice. I have to move vans in, I have to move... Uh, Cars in. I've driven everything from the 19, what was it, 1953 Ford F100 
Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> to say the least. Double clutch it every time, basically. Oh, do you? Oh, right. And it was then a mystery trying to find out what, which gear was where, because it was a column shift, it wasn't a stick like that. <clears throat> Manual R8 at work. Nice. Alright, so we haven't reviewed the Hanlon yet, have we? No. Should we do that now? Hanlon's the last one, yeah. Yeah? Alright. Go Quattro yeah. handling. What do we reckon? Oh. Okay, that's going well. £300 for the downpipe and the sports cap. Uh, the intercooler. <laughs> right about there. Sliding. <laughs> My passenger point of view is really quick. The buzzing you can ha you can hear is when it's hitting peak boost. So <laughs> it's going all over the place. Just quickly, and front wheel drive you've got to worry about understeering into a couple of trees. Like when you boot the Civic, you're going for it. He literally wants to molest you and throw you in a ditch. <laughs> But it's the four-wheel drive. Yes, it's it can be boring. It's stable. It's reliable. You, it's confidence building. Always grips up. But as soon as you throw it into a corner, you know you've got that. I'd rather have the stability and the know that the car's going to go around the corner and not understeer than have it to understeer or oversteer. <laughs> Getting some uh, drive-by shots now, and Ollie's just walking off down there like a little sad kid, like he'd been told off. He's shouting at the fucking sheep. <laughs> Gonna come along this road, send it up there. We've tried this back three times, but every time you get stuck behind a car. the S3 done, behind the scenes done. Um, he's gotten, getting no reading on his boost gauge now and we found the problem. It's just slightly um, melted the um, in, uh, vacuum hose. Vacuum hose. Nice little bug dead there. Yeah, he's got quite a hot. We have, he has been tanning it quite a bit. But yeah, it's fine. It should straighten out when it's colder. <laughs> 